Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at the DJI Virtual Flight Simulator, which is now finally available on Windows and Android devices, thanks to the Avada. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first thing you need to do is you'll need to get the DJI Virtual Flight application downloaded to your PC or to your phone. But in this video, we're going to take a look at the PC version. So just go to the DJI.com website and you should be able to find the Avada downloads. For me, I just typed in DJI Avada downloads in Google and it took me straight to this page. Once you've found the file, you can download it. It's 1.8 gigabyte in size. I've already downloaded this to save some time. And then you will just essentially follow the install instructions. It's actually quite easy and quick to install. You simply just click through the options next, next and next. I'll forward this section just to save some time. Once the installation is finished, you click in the finish button and then you can set up your devices. For instance, you would have to get your remote controller and plug it into the computer so that it can detect. Now, you don't need to do that immediately. First, you can go and click on the start button and then click on your shortcut DJI Virtual Flight and it, it will then open the application for you. The first time it's going to open, it might take a little while, but it goes quick once it's open. You'll be presented with a nice little uh, pop-up screen, but then you'll notice that I have some artifacting in my screen. This is the screen recorder. It doesn't like the DJI application too much. So I'm just going to screenshot certain sections and then go through it. You'll be presented with the agree option and you'll just have to click select here. Then you can see there's an option for you to opt into the DJI um, program. I always just say no. Next page, there's nothing really to do there except just click on the um, login section and then type in your details. And then once you've done that, you will have your ready to go option. So this is, if you already have a DJI account, you can easily log in there. Then you can select which option you want. I'm just going to go to the I'm a beginner option since I'm assuming most people that will be using this will be a beginner. But I have to admit, it's not that bad. Then you have to set up your control options. I like mode two. This is the standard DJI controller setup, which means throttle or up and down is on your left stick and then forward, left and right is on your right stick. So that's mode two. And if you click next, it's going to go through, through the whole basic setup. So you'll be presented with the most screen, which can tell you your throttle and your yours on your left and your pitch and your rolls on your right side. So just click the start stop or just press enter on your keyboard and you'll go to the next screen. So once you've done this whole section, then um, we'll be able to move on. Um, in this section, you can see that my controller wasn't connected, so I had to reconnect it. Once you have this section over here, we can just click next and we can move on to the next phase. So the controller is going to explain what all the buttons does on the controller. Most of you guys should already be comfortable with this, but it's quite nice that they do that. Then they're going to take you through the whole process of configuring your sticks or making sure that it's operating correctly. So if your controller is already linked up correctly, you should be able to move about and see what's going on. Now remember, my controller has been connected to the computer with a USB-C cable. So it's already detected and installed the driver when I installed the software. So I'm just going through the motions and making sure that the input on my sticks is exactly the same that I'm seeing on my screen as well. So just go through the whole process and make sure everything works properly. Very important, your start stop button must also work. In the simulator, if you've got a reset or start, then you are going to need to use that button quite often. So just go through the process and follow the instructions on the screen until you are comfortable. Now something else you'll notice on the bottom right side, you'll see there's a right little green tick at the controller, but there's a little um, stripe through the goggles. That's because my goggles isn't connected. Now if you wanted to, you can actually turn your goggles on, uh, take the cable and connect it directly to your goggles, and then you'll be able to use it like that. But that is how you use it with the application. So the Andro Android APK, that's how you would use it. And you'd be able to view on your phone as well as within the goggles what you are doing. But since we are using the PC, you do not have that option and you can only use the controller and use the windows or well, the screen on your laptop or pc to be able to play the simulator just a friendly reminder if you guys like what you guys are seeing on the channel and you guys like the content that i'm making please consider to click the subscribe button or the like button and share with your friends it really does help out the channel 
Now, the other thing you guys must also remember with the DJI drone, you've got your gimbal wheel on the left, which is useful. If you want to go faster, then typically you'll have to give yourself a bigger angle. If you want to go slower, then you typically have a lower pitch. But in normal mode, you should be able to also um, look straight down, 45 degrees down, and fly like a Mavic essentially. If you are in manual mode, then you would want to change the pitch to an angle which complements the speed that you want to fly. Once you're done with that, then you should be able to select the next option. Now here, I'm going to click uh, back to home and then go to the main lobby and see what options the system is going to give me. Now I'm going to go to the main lobby and since I've already configured my controller, I can now pick which drone I want to fly. As you guys can see, it supports the DJI FPV drone as well as the Alara. I only have the DJI FPV drone, but it's similar going to be for both drones. Then you just go and click on virtual flight and it should be able to take you to the next option on the screen. Now you can use your controller to move around the mouse now if you want to, but I recommend just using the mouse on your computer. Once you're done with that, just click on the enter and it's going to take you to your first time trial or your first event if I put that way around. Once you open, it's going to quickly go to the loading screen and it's going to tell you how to fly. So switch the controller into N mode. On your, well, we've already gone through that step. And then it's going to tell you to fly normally. Now for me, it was very complicated because in my mind, I was going to fly like an FPV drone. And it's actually flying like a Mavic. So I overcompensated quite a lot. Okay, so as you can see, the instructions was on the screen. Just put your sticks in 45 degrees in and then throttle up and you'll be able to fly. As you can see, the sticks on the screen that's how I'm flying. So I'm just using left to your left and I'm using right to roll. And as you can see, I'm losing it a bit here because I'm not flying like an FPV drone. In manual mode, this would be very, very difficult. The nice thing here is, is that if you crash, so what? It's a simulator. So um, have some fun. It's quite weird when you get started on the first time. But if you've got DJI or actually any FPV experience, then flying in manual mode, then this should be quite easy. Once you're done with this section, you can just head back to the home screen and you can go and take a look at what other options are available. Now, it doesn't give you the option to try again or do any of the other options here because it wants you to go through the application itself. When you go through this whole process again, then yes, you are going to get the options to select those things. But currently, you're not going to see any of that. So just click on the back home button over there and you should be able to go to the main menu and that is it. Thank you guys for watching. That is the DJI FPV simulator in one simple video. Once again, guys, if you like what you guys are watching, please consider to subscribe, especially because I am going to release a few videos with regards to the DJI flight simulator, as well as a DJI FPV drone, because um, I recently got one and the virtual flight one is quite new for all the new guys out there. It's quite a nice place to just get practicing, um, hone your skills and get the ball rolling. Now, the next video, like I said, will be with the DJI APK or the Android application. And then you'll be able to set it up and view on your phone or fly with your phone as well as with the goggles, giving you the most realistic FPV experience you can without flying with the DJI FPV drone or with the Avata drone. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.